You can read Disco's thoughts on Glasgow's pursuit of the PRO 14 title in European campaign as well as Scotland's international fortunes, at his excellent blog Top of the Moon. Co 6.05 at Kingspan Stadium Saturday 21 April 2018 Live on BBC2 Scotland The equivalent fixture fell in the Six Nations window last season meaning much changed teams this time round. Just six of the Warriors match day 23 from last year return and only Alex Allen, Scott Cummings and Robert Harley were starters on the club's last trip to Belfast. Ulster have 10 players who featured in that previous encounter with Louis Ludic, Luke Marshall and Sean Reedy the men from the home side to start both games. Ulster 15 Charles Piuta 14 Louis Ludic 13 Luke Marshall 12 Stuart McCloskey 11 Jacob Stockdale 10 Johnny McPhillips 9 John Cooney 1 Andrew Warwick 2 Rob Herring 3 Ross Kane 4 Alan O'Connor 5 Ian Henderson Captain 6 Nick Timoney 7 Sean Reedy 8 Gene Daisel Substitute 16 Rory Best 17 Kyle McCall 18 Tom O'Toole 19 Kieran Treadwell 20 Clive Ross 21 Paul Marshall 22 Angus Curtis 23 Tommy Bowie Glasgow Warriors 15 Stuart Hogg 14 Tommy Seymour 13 Hugh Jones 12 Alex Dunbar 11 Lelia Moss Aga 10 Finn Russell 9 Ali Price 1 Alex Allen 2 Fraser Brown 3 CU O'Hala New Kanuka 4 Tim Swinson 5 Scott Cummings 6 Robert Harley 7 Callum Gibbons Captain 8 Matt Fagerson Substitute 16 George Turner 17 Ryan Grant 18 Xander Fagerson 19 Greg Peterson 20 Matt Smith 21 Henry Pyregos 22 Peter Horn 23 Nick Grigg Head to head back 3 even centers 8 EV Glasgow half backs 8 EV Glasgow front row even second row even back row 8 EV Glasgow subs 8 EV Ulster Glasgow greetings Brian Ryan Grant features for the first time since the Ospreys game on the 26th of November. Last time Hugh Jones pulled on the Warriors shirt in anger was against Exeter just over three months ago. Match day milestones, when he comes off the bench Xander Fagerson will be playing the 50th PRO 14 game of his career, at just 22 years of age. Warriors, want to watch, a very adaptable presence in the midfield, Alex Dunbar's ability to switch seamlessly between 12 and 13 has allowed Glasgow's other centre options to flourish. Whether he's playing outside a second distributor like Peter Horn or Sam Johnson or moving inside to allow the pace of Hugh Jones or the cannonball stylings of Nick Grigg to have free reign Eck always makes a big contribution. The former Selkirk man is the most likely to choose to carry the ball among the, the Warriors centers, taking that option 67% of the time. He'll generally win the hard yards and set up the phases and kick ball that Glasgow can really attack from. Alex is also the backline's defensive leader and with much of Ulster's strength in their midfield and back three he'll need to be on top of his game to contain the home side's firepower. The Ulster v Glasgow fixture in the PRO 12 era, 1 win 5 losses 1 losing bonus 0.5 points out of a possible 30-17% it may have been the venue for the greatest day in the club's history, the PRO 12 grand final win in 2015 but the king span, Raven Hill has not been a happy hunting ground on regular league duty. 4 out of 6 attempts have seen the Warriors return home completely empty-handed. No other away trip produced as few points in the PRO 12 era. Last season's matchup, 18 tackles attempted by Nick Grigg at inside center. The Glasgow midfield was in danger of being overrun by an Ulster backline that had a surfeit of quick ball. Adding the powerful Stuart McCloskey to the mix means that the home side will not be any easier to deal with this time round. 54 combined number of defenders beaten, or tackles missed if you're a glass half-empty sort, by the two sides 23 by Glasgow and 31 by Ulster. It certainly wasn't a game the defense coaches will look back on with any fondness but it was an entertaining contest for the neutral. Given the talent in both backlines this weekend's fixture has the potential to be a real humdinger. 62 percentage possession in the first half for Glasgow. In common with a number of the games played during the test windows last season the team started out well, had plenty of ball and made plenty of ground. Equally though, like those other games, little inaccuracy stopped them from turning those positives into points and the Warriors will need to be much more efficient on Saturday evening. Home and away, Ulster last 6 in the PRO 14, HLWWWLW Glasgow last 6 in the PRO 14, A, WLWDL officials, referee, Stuart Barry, SARU, Wealth Competition Game, AR1, Nigel Cordell, IRFU, AR2, Helen O'Reilly, IRFU, TMO, Ali Hodges, IRFU, this will be just the second outing for Mr. Barry in a Warriors match after taking charge of the game at Scottsdown against Leinster in November. 
South African whistler hammered Glasgow a bit in the penalty count on that occasion, the 15 they conceded are the most so far this season. Mr. Barry also yellow-carded Scott Cummings and Alex Dunbar after the Warriors had managed to make it through the first nine matches of the season without a single sim binning. Mr. Barry's rate of 19.8 penalties per game is slightly above the league average of 19.1.